you want to improve your weak foot. That is fantastic. But why do you even have a weak foot in the beginning? I think it's become so acceptable in the game for players to have one foot that's really strong and the other one is useless. Just because you see the majority of people, majority of players, that's how they play the game. If you're watching this video right now, I'm assuming you don't want to play like that. You want to be a two-footed player. This video is for you. I'm going to talk about how to improve your weak foot faster. So number one is without even touching the bowl, it's the ability to flex the foot and move the foot in different ways. Let's say you're a right-footed player. It's probably easy for you to flex that foot, to point the toes down, to lock the ankle. And if you did a full circle to flex, to have a really strong range of motion, but also the strength in which you can flex different ways. If you go on your weaker side, it's probably very hard and feels awkward to flex your foot like that. So that's the first thing I would say you need to work on is actually building strength and flexibility in your weaker foot. Because if I wanna strike the ball with my laces on my weak foot, but I can't even flex my foot in that way because it cramps up, it feels so weak, just because I haven't done it enough times in my life, then how am I supposed to hit a hard shot? Okay, so number one is the flexion, the technique of the foot, the technique of the toes, the flexion of the leg, the strength in the leg, and the mobility, the range of motion. So you might just wanna start with building up your range of motion and your ability to flex and tense your foot in different positions. Next is comparison. So if I'm a right-footed player and on my right side, I strike the ball very clean. I'm happy with how I hit it on my right side, but then I go to my left and I'm saying, why can't I do it on my weaker side? Well, if you look at what you're doing, if you analyze what you're doing, it's totally different. So how is it supposed to produce the same result, the same product. I want a hard straight shot on my left, but on my right, I have a nice big backswing, full through the bowl, locking the ankles, the technique is beautiful. But then, when I come on my left, I have no backswing, I'm hitting off the inside of the foot, I'm swinging across my body, the technique is not the same. So you need to learn how to analyze your technique on your stronger foot. So compare, if whatever it is, if I'm doing a pass, if I'm doing a ping, if I'm doing a strike, if I'm just dribbling and cutting the ball in different ways, how come when I do it on my strong foot, it does what I want? When I do it on my weaker foot, it does not. I have to learn how to compare the techniques of the two. And if I can make the technique on my left the same as the technique on my right, then I will produce the same result. If I want to improve my weak foot, but I'm just doing drills and I'm not actually thinking about, okay, that time I hit it here, this time I hit it there, I follow through there. So you have to actually analyze what you're doing with every technique. And you're asking yourself, how can I improve my weak foot? But you already know the answer to that because you already improved your strong foot. And what did you do? You just practiced with it all the time. So in order to get this one as much as this one, you just have to give it the attention and love that it deserves. So to improve your weak foot, get those repetitions. Every time you do a drill on your right, do it on your left. And because this one is so far behind right now, you might just have to give this guy a break and just do everything with your weaker foot. So I'm assuming you want a few drills to help with technique on your weaker foot. Some good places to start. Just basic footwork drills, inside, outside cuts. Really focus on the weaker side. You're probably having trouble. Like I said, just control the foot. You're trying to cut it, but it's going forward. You're not turning the foot enough. You're not turning the hips enough. Okay, so just little touches like this. Even coming here, just get comfortable. Comfortable moving the ball, rolling the ball in different ways on the weaker foot, dragging it, okay? And it's the touch, it's also the movement of the hips. You probably move your body completely different on one side compared to the other. So analyze again, compare, but different footwork drills. Just getting those touches, getting those repetitions, getting the rhythm, giving that foot the love, okay? Juggling. So maybe 
You're just starting there with a bounce. Back spin on the ball. You're trying to set a record on your weaker foot. What is it today? 20? Make it 25 tomorrow. Okay, so little touches. Holy, I need some balance. Little touches, these are really good. And one uh, ball control exercise that's awesome for weaker foot, strengthening it up is a foot stall. So maybe start with a bounce. But if you have a really poor weak foot right now, it's probably difficult to flex your toes like that. So if you're doing any of these techniques, shooting, dribbling, control like this, and you're trying to flex your foot in one way or the other and it's cramping, that just means you don't have the strength in that foot yet. You don't have the muscle memory. It's not used to doing that. So that will go away over time, but you have to. You have to fight through that. You have to flex through that. But a foot stall like that on your weaker side is a really good exercise to build that strength. Then, ball striking, whether you have a wall. Okay, just practicing passing technique against a wall. First touch, back off that foot. Just keep it all on your weaker foot. Get a whole weak foot session. Gain those repetitions, striking the ball, pinging the ball with your weak foot. Shooting the ball against a wall. I always say is best because it'll come back to you. However, even something like this, if you had a rebounder, you don't have to shoot from outside the 18 yard box. All you need right now is repetitions. You don't have to blast it hard. All you have to focus on is technique. That's the reason you can't hit it hard on your, on your weaker foot. It's not because your leg is necessarily weaker or smaller. It's because you don't have proper technique. Technique creates power. So if you want a stronger shot, you need stronger technique. 